Hi there. I'm going to give you a quick video on how to do a chi-square test of independence using StatCrunch. So if you want to, go ahead and click on the link in your online lesson that will bring you to this data set, Gender and Water. We're going to do a chi-square test of independence, which is appropriate for two categorical variables. And if you notice here, both the variables in this data set are in fact categorical. And the data has yet to be summarized into a contingency table. I would call this raw data. Um, there's no problem StatCrunch can handle either format, that is raw data or a data that's already been summarized into a contingency table. To perform the test of independence, you click on Stat, Tables, Contingency, because again, we're working with two categorical variables, and we have raw data. Our row variable for this problem will be gender, and our column variable for this problem will be water preference. A nice uh, display feature that StatCrunch offers is an expected count. I like to choose that. It saves me a little trouble um, with some hand calculations. And also the default setting is the chi-square test of independence. That is the default setting for the hypothesis test. So all you have to do now is press compute. You can see here our results in the pop-up box. It reminds you what you selected for rows and columns, just to make sure you selected them the correct way. And it also gives you sort of a little legend here for the cell format. Um, the first number is the count, and the second one in parentheses is the expected count. And this is what I said could save you a little time if you're checking in the assumptions and conditions that each of these is at least five, or 80% of them should be, uh, expected counts should be five or greater. Lastly, the chi-square test here. The test statistic here is under the word value. So our test statistic is 1.336, etc. And that's coupled with a p-value of 0 0.7205. Here is the information you would need, that is the p-value and the test statistic, to help you make a decision in a hypothesis test. Let me know if you have any questions.